Hey, is it possible there were 10 foot aliens that popped up at a shopping mall in Miami? Or is this whole story just another big fat alien fake? Hey guys, Bill here. A lot of you guys have been writing in and asking me about this strange story about aliens in Miami. Justin Duchette wrote, I keep seeing these stories on TikTok about what happened in the mall in Miami. Is it aliens or what? Well, Justin, you know, there are a lot of aliens in Miami, but as far as I know, they're not from outer space, if you know what I mean. But anyway, let's take a look. Taking a look around the internet, there's certainly no lack of videos talking about the event. But by now, you've probably seen this. The videos on your social media feed, teens spreading panic at Bayside Marketplace. It all happened at a mall in Miami called the Miami Bayside Market on the evening of New Year's Day. Police descended in mass on this shopping center in what news reports said was a fight among teenagers. Here is what channel WPLG in Miami reported. This all started, according to police, with some sort of fight between juvenile groups that were armed with sticks. And we do want to show you uh, the scene from above, uh, a picture to show you that massive police presence. Okay, now, quickly after this story popped up on the news, another alternative version of the story popped up on yeah, you guessed it, social media. This is just rumors and witness reports that there were seven to 10 feet tall creatures and beings running around the shopping area and attacking people. Somebody took a spirit box type device in there and opened a P-O-R-T-A-L and something stepped through that they didn't want to step through. That's exactly what happened. I got something very high for you, the Miami footage. There's only two people um, I had this footage. I had to sign an agreement, a disclosure agreement. These stories claim police were not, I repeat, not responding to a fight, but rather to some large unknown creatures that appeared from a paranormal portal that opened in the middle of the mall. We are in the last days. We're going to see more of this stuff happening um, more and more. These fallen angels, these creatures, these hybrids. The only thing that we need to keep our focus on is Jesus and know that we are dealing with, you know, evil. Police soon took to their own social media to say there were no aliens involved in the police action. First, our response to that uh, big incident in Bayside Marketplace, what happened was there was about 50 or more juveniles that were shooting fireworks at people. There was also some looting going on, so officers that were on that scene were having a little bit of trouble containing it, so they called what is called the Citywide Three, which every officer in the city responded. That's why you saw so much police presence for, for that call to contain that crowd. Now, there is now video going viral of eight to 10 foot aliens walking around Bayside. It's actually just a person walking with a shadow. So I can confirm to you all here today right now that there are no aliens in Miami in Bayside Marketplace. Responding to the police, other people started posting social media saying there were numerous eyewitness reports that said they saw the aliens with their own eyes. I look back, no cap, yo, no cap. I look back, it looked like, like, like a big ass shadow, but it was solid at the same time, like a few, like a few shadows. Okay, so what do you guys think? Do you think there really was some kind of paranormal event down there in Miami and the police were responding to 10 foot tall aliens or were the police just responding to a big kid rumble that they had to get under control? Well, I'll tell you what, you don't have to go off and think about it today because I am gonna get right to the official answer. I've got a lot of things going on these days, strangely enough. Uh, so I need to kind of move things along and not do uh, a really long show today. So sorry about that, but I will get back to it. Don't worry. All right. So the video claiming to show tall, 10 foot tall aliens in Miami uh, and the whole claim that there were aliens. Well, guess what? I have some news for you. The claim that there were aliens is, guess what, really fake. 
Truth be told, the center of the disturbance was a fight between two large groups of teens that included sticks and fireworks being used as weapons. Four teens have been arrested between the ages of 14 and 16 years old after wreaking havoc last night here in Bayside. And we've learned that fireworks, which were mistaken for gunshots, are what led to that major police response. It was fighting, they were fighting, and then uh, they tried to kick people out to slow it down. Then people got pepper spray. Then that's when the police started coming. And then after the police started coming, they, they told everybody, get out, get out. And then not everybody by the street, and they just throwing fireworks. A concerned resident mistook the fireworks detonations for gunshots and reported an active shooter, which led to the heavy deployment of police resources that is being shared in social media. Okay, guys, so in the end, what we have is truly just a police operation to suppress a t huge teenage ruckus down there in Miami uh, that was soon taken over by internet trolls, and these trolls used social media to do what social media does really good turn it into this big conspiracy about aliens that is totally 100% just bulldoogie. Now, what about that UFO or UAP, as they now call them, that was recorded in the Persian Gulf area and referred to as the jellyfish UAP? Well, I'm working on it. And I should have a solid answer for you in my next video. Hey, don't go away just yet. There are a whole lot more real or fakes you can look at. Just go ahead and click on one.